Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another review video. I just got this delivery off eBay and these are some car horns that I've ordered off eBay. The people selling these make some outrageous claims which 100% are not correct because it's impossible what they're claiming. However, I was hoping these were going to be better than the horn that came on my four-wheel drive van which was absolutely terrible. My daughter was actually calling the horn on my four-wheel drive van the clown horn. She was right, it did sound like a bit of a clown horn. It was some aftermarket air horn type thing that the previous owner fitted and it just sounded horrible. Unfortunately I can't actually let you listen to the original horn that was in the van because I've pulled it out and sitting on the ground over there waiting to go on the bin. But let's have a look at these. I paid $12.95 for these delivered. And it's a high and low horn. We'll get them out of the box in a minute and have a look. Now the thing that they're claiming that I believe is impossible is they say these things are 300 dB. Now most people probably don't know what that means. And this is probably how they get away with advertising these horns that are supposedly quite loud. But let's consider this. A train horn fitted to a train is about 120 dB. And you can hear that for about 3 to 5 k's away ahead of the train when they blast their train horns. Now I don't expect these to be anywhere near 120 dB despite them claiming 300 so what I've done is I've done a search on the internet to see if there's anything that's actually 300 dB. Let's see what I've come up with. Now, a gunshot from a high calibre big bore rifle, when you're standing right next to it, is around 140 dB. Now a jet engine on the plane at 100 metres is about 140 dB. Still less than half of this. Just something else people might be able to relate to, a jackhammer at one metre. So if you're standing right next to a road worker using one of those big jackhammers, they're about 100 dB. So we're really starting to get the idea that the 300 dB claim of these horns aren't going to be right. As a matter of fact, when you do a search on the internet, 300 dB can be fatal at the right frequency. It can actually kill you or an animal at the right frequency. So let's hope these aren't 300 dB because we're just about to test them out. So let's quickly take them out the box before we test them. This is how they come. These can be ordered in different colours. I just went with the classic black and red look. This is one. It's got no real markings on it. It doesn't say anything on the horn. So that's the first one. And this is the second one. And again, it's got no real markings on it. Usually there's a high and a low sound. That's why usually you have two horns, so they operate on different frequencies. Now there's some packing material. And there's also two little steel mounting brackets that are in this bag that came with it. These are a plastic horn with a steel backing. This red part is actually metal on both the horns and the actual horn part here is plastic. So what I've done, I've made up a couple of jumper cables. I have my 12 volt bench testing battery. Let's test these out and see how out they are. Okay, here we are. There's my battery. Here's the two horns. And here's the jumper leads that I've made up. So let's connect them to the battery. Connect the other end to the horn. There's the negative cable. Connect that to the horn. And we've got the end here that we're going to touch to the negative terminal to sound the horn. I'll point them towards the camera so that you get a lot of the noise, I guess. So let's try these out. Wow, okay, these are extremely loud. 
I mean, they're not 300 dB loud, but geez, they have to be some of the loudest car horns that I've ever heard. They are really, really good. Um, unfortunately, I have no way of testing um, the sound level that these produce. The noise on these is actually quite incredible. I'm very, very surprised. For $12.95, I'm seriously impressed by these. These are probably the loudest car horn that I have ever, ever heard on any car that I've ever owned. And I'm really looking forward to fitting these to my van and seeing how they last. Now, if these seem to work and last for a while, I think I will order some more of these and fit them to my other cars. Because a decent horn is a very, very important safety device on your car to alert other drivers around you to danger or people around you to danger and possibly avoid collisions and various other things. I think these are a really, really good investment. If you've got a really dodgy horn that can't really be heard, I'd highly recommend ordering yourself a pair of these for $12, $13 delivered. You can't go wrong. Now, if you've got any questions about anything you saw in today's video, leave your question down below and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and found it the least little bit useful, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button, not the brand new horns for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.